Okay, so the clutch took a dump in your Gen 1. And if you're like me, funds are limited. So I learned to do it myself. It's not that hard. Uh, don't pay anybody to put a clutch in. This is like, just as a Gen 1, I don't know anything about Gen 2, so. Uh, for the sake of speed, I've got a lot of this stuff already disassembled prior. Um, there's no need to take these bolts out of this hockey puck. It doesn't come apart for this. I don't even know what it does, but anyway, we ain't taking it apart. Uh, 5 16 12 point, works great for these cover bolts. You hang all these cover bolts out, they're all the same length, so don't worry about mixing them up. Throw them in a pile. When you crack this open, you will get some oil dripping out of here. I don't because I've got a shorter kickstand on this bike and it leans way over, so you want to put a little bucket or something under here to catch the oil. Give it a little bump, and off she comes. Keep this clean. If you've never been in one of these, this oil is the same oil that runs in your motor. If you notice, I don't know if you can see it in this video where it's the camera's point, but there's two pins. And it makes it really easy to line your clutch cover back up. I am not a certified qualified mechanic by any means. I just can't afford to pay anybody else to do this stuff, so I do it myself. That's a little uh, disclosure. I've already got most of the clutch springs out. Um, this bike does not have an OEM clutch in it, so there's going to be a few little things that are different, but I'll show you the deal on that. Uh, when you pull your clutch springs out, don't just back one all the way out. Take them off, go around them, like, you know, cross them up like you would a head when you're doing a head or something, and relieve the pressure off the pressure plate evenly. So, like I say, I've already got all these loose, so we'll back them around here. This bike's got a uh, pretty stout clutch in it. It's got an FBG clutch pack and 40 pound race springs. These are a lot stouter than the stock springs, so I'll show you the difference here. This bike also has a Brock's clutch mod in it. They think a little different, not, not a whole lot. Stock Hayabusa clutch spring. Schmidt's 40 pound race spring. They're a lot stouter. Now, like I say, this bike's got a clutch mod in it from Brock's. If you're using the stock springs with a Brock's clutch mod, you'll get these little washers. Uh, they go like so. No biggie. Yeah. Off comes the pressure plate. Like I say, keep this stuff clean. They make a tool to get these things out with, which makes it a lot easier. I don't have one. Like I say, this is a poor man's job. I've got a couple of little tricks, but anyway, sometimes you can get a bunch, get reaching these in the indents here and get a bunch of them. You get a lot of them come out all at once. They make a set of picks you can reach in and pick these out with. I don't have a set. But I do have the trusty magnet. Helps out a lot. Sometimes these things are real easy to get out. Sometimes they are totally It'd be a real bear to get out. But just take your time. A couple of flat screwdrivers. Let me turn that shit down. Oh my that's all anyway. Just take your time and Dig these babies out and don't gall anything up. Catch them on both sides. Like I say, this is an FBG pack. A little different than OEM. So far as the stack order. Uh, that's about the only real difference is the stacking order. This magnet really comes in handy when you're doing this.
last one's always a pain in the neck. Pain in the ass to get out. They say take your time on this, don't gall it up inside the basket. Making a video. Huh? Uh, because I'm bored. I don't have much to do. Can't go to work. So I'm making a how to video on, on how to do a high boost clutch. Huh? Yeah, I heard you talking about I really I've just been smoking a lot of weed and I'm stoned. <laughs> All, right, well, All right, thanks for mowing the grass. some boredom. Getting ready to go for surgery. Can't go to work. Been out of work for three weeks so I'm bored as heck. I gotta play with the old video camera. And I've been having some clutch issues. I made another video so that somebody could help me out. I figured I'd do a how-to. How to do a stop clutch. I need to put my glasses on because I can't see what the heck I'm doing. Don't get frustrated with this because you don't want to gall things up inside here. But they can be a barrier to get out. <laughs> 